Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to be looking at the first half of factorization's auto crafting process and that is the craft packet maker. Now if we open up the interface uh, as we can see we've got quite a few uh, things that are, are quite curious. Now you've kind of got your regular 3x3 crafting grid that you're used to but the difference is you can put crosses in and take them out and that is all you can do with it. Um, on the left here, these two boxes here, you've got a paper input and a, a craft packet input and then you have a, a product input and the reason for this is that you can only imprint one item at a time into your into your grid uh, and then you gradually build up your craft packets as you go. Um, this slot here is the output slot for for the output craft packet that this process will create. Now to actually make the craft packet maker you have uh, three cobble on each side, crafting table on the bottom and a piston above it. Now to actually see this in action um, you need to have a paper input there um, and this slot here whichever is marked by the cross indicates where this input needs to go in the crafting recipe so if I put a cross at the top like that and put my slabs in it's going to give me a craft pack here that has those oakwood slabs at the very top like so and as you can see the dashes indicate empty spaces so we'll take a few of those and then move on to the next one and the next one here what we want to do um, let me just get some some wood we will put this in a U shape like that and what we can do put in our oakwood slab as the other half of the input so this knows that that slot there is going to be an oak slab and then we put in some wood and it eats up seven wood and our input recipe there and gives us uh, a craft packet there. Now this is a blue one which means it's a valid recipe um, and if you accidentally take it out and it makes a yellow one you would have to take that yellow one and put it into here to get your blue one again. So as you can see you need both of these slots um, if you're using a more complicated recipe like this with multiple items in to get um, a complete recipe. Now um, what we actually need on top of that is the craft packet stamper that we looked at yesterday so if you uh, don't know how to use this have a, have a look at yesterday's video and you input in your completed craft packets and that is going to output your barrels which is the recipe that we made here with these two and of course uh, these can, this can all be automated so you can uh, can have this done automatically and these of course can be pumped out as well so there you go guys that's the craft packet maker uh, that's a very basic recipe but it does contain uh, more than one item you would just use uh, an ongoing process if you had more than two items so you would just put um, this blue output would be uh, would be a yellow one just with two different items in and then you add your third item and your fourth item and so on until you get a blue recipe which is the completed recipe and then you can stick it in your stamper and it will stamp it out. So there you go guys, um, hope that shed a bit of light on the factorizations auto crafting. Uh, please hit the subscribe button above if you've uh, enjoyed this video, if you found it useful. Um, follow me over on Twitch and Twitter as well and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.